This is part two of the Millennium Falcon Hasbro 29-inch conversion project that I'm doing here. Part two of the actual uh, cabin assembly and some of the testing with the fitting and so on. So, as you can see in this video, I've um, put in the, the chairs, and uh, these are all the Shapeway components. And there's a couple things I want to talk to you about that are uh, noticed, that are notable um, and worth mentioning. So, first of all, um, with respect to these chair components being fastened in these holes, the holes actually weren't big enough. And so what I ended up doing was um, just using this drill bit here on my Dremel tool and uh, sticking it in there and just sort of uh, widening that up just a little bit. Now, I widened it up enough that they're still difficult to put in, and I actually screwed them in with one full turn. So I put the, put it in, turned it all the way around, and it's it, they're pretty tight in there. They're not glued, okay, just in case I have to take them out again. So I did that. Now another notice, notable thing that was uh, very important was in my last video I talked about the uh, cockpit itself, the canopy here where you had um, to make sure that this was going to be level. Um, this front part here, the floorboard would be below this. And what was happening was is that I found this was on an angle pointing up when it was fastened within the uh, the components when they're connected together. Now this is glued right now. And what I ended up doing was experimenting with a couple of different places to cut. But I ended up, and I'll show this in, in a little bit more detail, uh, I ended up down within here using another bit tool uh, on the Dremel itself, something that was very, very subtle. And I just sort of um, made some grooves in here and the bottom resting pieces were um, getting a little bit more of a groove to sit back in there. And what that was actually doing, it was allowing for this to now level off to be a little bit more uh, straight with the horizon when it was in there. So I put a lot of glue in there afterwards and now it's been holding. So the final thing I'll say before I assemble this very quickly and show you what um, it looks like so far is that I do have the uh, four member crew from Shapeways and I'll be putting those in, but the one that, um, these were built originally for an actual model uh, version, and it says on the Shapeways products that they're also available for the 29-inch Hasbro Falcon. The problem is that Chewbacca doesn't fit, okay? I don't know what I'm going to do here to make this happen, but you can see here that just when you look at Chewie, versus how this is all coming together. I don't have any clue as to how that's going to going to fit. So for now, the plan is to put them in the back seat, which kind of blows. Um, but I'll figure something out there where I might just turn the seat this way, facing one of the panels and so on. And, um, you know, just, just work it out and put Leia in the front and so on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to quickly assemble this and I'll talk about some of the, the finished assembly. Um, again, this is just for uh, testing purposes, and it coincides with some of the decisions I made in the uh, existing video, or the, the earlier video, part one, and then I'll talk about some of those, uh, how they all come together. Okay, so this is mid-assembly. I haven't yet put the cone on, obviously, but I wanted to talk about some things just before I do that. I'll be putting the figures in in a moment. Um, what I have here is, is that, uh, you know, again, per my previous video and the options that were available, I chose to keep this uh, original uh, piece here for fastening that cone on top, and you'll see how well that really comes together. Um, one of the things that I did um, find that I wanted to do, made it a little bit easier, is that even though these rims here are down below as well, I did cut some grooves out just to make this available a little bit more easier to slide in because obviously these are beveled downwards, so you're getting, you're actually sort of eating into some space that this, this component needs to get into, so um, I just sort of chipped away at some of the sides there just so I make that slide in, okay? So let's get the action figures in, take a look at that. Alright, so this is what the action figures look like. Um, again, Chewie can't fit in the front, so I've put him in the back. And you can see he's, he's a much larger than, uh, than, than all the other figures, probably to a, 
a little bit of a disproportion in his size compared to everybody else. But anyways, that's how they fit in there really nicely. Obviously, I had to paint these. Um, so now I'll go ahead and, and you know give you some more details on that. And then we'll, we'll go ahead and get that, that cone on as well. Okay, when putting the cone on, uh, definitely something you want to be very, very careful with is that, you know, this is easy to break. And you can see that I actually have two cones. This one is, <laughs> the other one's on order. Uh, but you can see here I actually busted this. Um, some of these components here are busted as well just because of, you know, when I was experimenting on putting this on, um, things got tight and things cracked. So what I've learned from that experience is, is that grab everything by the sides. This is the heavier part. This is the part that you have to work with. Close up on the, uh, the clamps over here and then you can see if you just push this on. Okay, you'll get it in there. The good news is, is that once you get it on, it stays on because I kept those, those original supports, okay? All right, perfect, okay? Since it's very, very tight, you can turn it with a lot of tension, which is good. Um, you'll also notice that in the front, there is uh, the floorboards are now below the recessed below so when I actually get some lights underneath there uh, I'm not gonna have uh, any spillage so again if you hadn't seen the first video the purpose of keeping that original component for fastening this on was because having to cut the supports I was losing um, the support components for this this actually does a great job for substituting it and another thing that you can see from using this is that I don't need this piece, okay? Uh, it, it, it comes with the, the backing set. It's gonna go in there. It won't fit in there. Again, it's an alternative to if you wanna cut off that and use this instead, you're not gonna get the tight fastening that you're getting here from the original clamps or the original sections that, that fasten this. I chose not to use this. And you'll see that when you look inside this exact piece, it's going to be very difficult to see that off the side. Yes, you probably could see some lights and so on and so forth, but at the same time, with all the detail of the characters, this cockpit component lighting up and then the back lighting, I think that'll be enough uh, to make this good to go. Um, the other thing just to note was down below, it hasn't been painted yet, but I did put the uh, putty for the, um, uh, the screw holes that were there. There were some on either side, and, um, and that's it. So really happy with this waiting on some fiber optics to come through the third video will be the final video of this complete assembly um you know where it may not be painted but at the same time um it will definitely show the leds and the and the, the control lightings uh, up here and so on and so forth so again love to hear the comments any questions i'll be happy to answer them if anybody has any techniques or recommendations of things that they've done along the way that are, are better than this that they want to communicate with other people please write them in the comments down below and i'll get going on the next video uh, once those components come in thanks very much for watching